So let's jump to DPR Studio and here we can import our FBX file. So it's this one. Okay. We can always go here. We can go to the hierarchy to our outliner. And I can go here to, to the helmet. And if I want to make this bigger, I can go here and mess with the scale, for example. If I prefer like this, if I want to move it back, I can move it back a little. You know? Um, so yeah, let's say I like it like this. Of course, I can go back in Maya and make those changes and export it again. It's a cleaner way, but we can always do this here. Uh, it, it's a much easier and faster way to do it. So let's go to this tab and let's open our texture. Here you can see our work, our good work of keeping things organized. It pays off here because everything looks clean. We know precisely where everything is. And I can go here. I know this is the, the, the Iron Man shader. So I, I can select like a proper shader for this. Diffuse. The standard shader diffuse is a good one because I can I can set a diffuse channel as a texture. This texture. Okay. So we want to remove the specular. And now we just add a little bit. So like this, a bit less. So it shines just a little bit. Okay, I think it looks good. And then if we want to make this, if we want to, to make it look more realistic or something like that, you can go to, to a different shader, like the shader full, where you can have a gloss map and normal maps. But for now, let's, let's keep it like this. The main goal of this tutorial is the is the animation. So let's go back here. Okay, it looks good. But as you can see, you can see there's this issue here in this in this line. And this has to do with the UVs and the, the way that Maya or other 3D editor reads the, the UVs. So let, let's go ahead and fix this. So this means that this piece of geometry it has two different UV sets. Let's go back to Maya. And here I can... Uh, another issue that you, we can address right now. Because the scale of this is so small, sometimes you want to, to close up. You want to make a close up and, and you see the, the, the clipping of the camera. So you can go here. You can go to the camera attribute editor. Again. Here you can, you can set the near clip plane for something much smaller and now I can really go and really zoom in so let's go back to our main issue this this little piece here let's take a look let's see if there's any other issue I don't think so everything else looks fine oh there's issues here also okay so in this part and this part so let's go ahead and fix it so let's take a look at the UV editor Okay, so as you can see, there's different, there's three different UV sets here. We want to have one mesh that will represent one, one UV uh, set only, only a UV aisle. So for this, let's go here. Let's select, for example, faces. Let's double click here to select this. I want to go here to edit mesh and detach. Okay, do the same thing here. I can press G to repeat the last comment. I can go here to the same. Okay, and now here, in object mode. Here I can see the same problem. So face, dash. Okay, so now I want to make, I want to separate this. Now there are two different pieces. And here, I also want to separate this. Okay. So now, they are different, different pieces of geometry. So this should fix it. 
sometimes you you can note you can start noticing the the edge i don't think this is the case but sometimes once you, once you you detach and you separate the a piece of geometry that would follow along the the same uh, curvature you will in this case it's edge so you don't notice here the same but let's say that it, it's a smooth like a a really smooth surface and you want to make it look like it's still one only one piece only you can you can shift select both and you can go here and you can press average then set to face and then you go to soft match and that way it will look like one piece only so it should fix it not in this case we don't I did it anyway but it's not an issue here so yeah let's go ahead select everything and I want to make sure I want to delete non-deformer history, so we can keep our animation. But I delete the here. Let me press. Yeah, this is clean. So now let's go ahead and export this again. So select, common select, file, export selection. Let's call this V2. Animation resemble all. Yeah, okay, export. Now let's go back to DPR. Uh, let's go ahead and let's import let's import a new, a new FPX. Okay. The texture. And hopefully the issue that we had before it's gone. So now it looks good, perfect. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm happy with this. So let's go ahead and hide it just for a while. So uh, so we we take care of the dance mesh. In this case, I want to go here. And yeah, it's, it's done for now. So yeah. Let's go ahead and take care of the um, of the animation. Just one, one more thing before we move to animation. Let's say that we want to have the yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's say that we want to have this visor. Uh, we want to have some opacity to it so we can see the eyes. So we can. In this case, we need to apply two different shaders. Uh, shader to to the visor itself, so you can tweak it. Because right now, if if I tweak the the, the opacity. It will it will mess with everything so we need two different shaders let's go ahead in Maya let's select the visor I'm going to apply a texture a different a different shader I mean and I'm going to call this visor shader everything. Um, so let's go ahead re-export uh, export this again let's export this as a v3 everything is the same export it great so let's go ahead and let's do this again. Okay, and now you can see there's a new shader here. Let's go ahead and take care of the of the main one. Let's make things like they were before. Okay. Let's say I like it like this. Uh -huh. Now let's go to the visor one, to the visor shader. I think standard shader it will be fine for this. Let's give this like a, a dark color. We go ahead later to mess with this. The specular is too high for my taste, at least. Okay. And now I can make this a bit darker. Yes, perfect. And now I can. Okay, there we have it. And now I can see my eyes. Yay. So I think just a little bit is, is good. Just to give the little extra detail. If, if, if I open this too much, it, it looks weird. Let's make this like like it's a bonus layer. Oh, yeah, I can see my eyes, you know, like, like something extra. Um, okay, now, now let's say that my eyes are really small. I want to make them far apart. So I can go here, I can go to the dense mesh, 
and I can mess with the scale or the positioning so but for now it doesn't matter let's go ahead finally for the, the animation uh, so yeah uh, as you remember the the opening animation the open lead it, it, it goes from 1 to 17 so it's roughly half a second um, so yeah let's go here and let's open the animation state editor this is this works like a, a, a state machine it's waiting for something to trigger something uh, and it will leave to something so yeah let's go ahead uh, and let's work on our idle our our idle uh, our idle uh, closed okay let's call this something else close idle so the the element is closed in its idle position the animation is from take one the only take that we have and it's going to have zero duration so this is the frame where it starts and it doesn't have duration so it's going to be a, a still um, yeah so right now I can add a trigger to this and I would say that um, okay, you you can have more 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 components to here. Let's use the ones that are included. The blink, the mouth open. So when I open my mouth, the the animation is going to start. So uh, let's first take care of all the states that we want. We want to close idle. We want to have a opening animation. It's going to read from this. It's going to start from zero and it's going to be around uh, 800. Then from opening animation, it should go to, let me think. So close idle, opening animation, it should go for open idle. Okay. Let's take out the states first. And then from open idle, it should go for closing animation. Let me just select the proper take. From closing animation, it should go to close idle again. So our states are we all we have all the states that we need. So let's go ahead and let's use some logic. So the close idle should be triggered by the open mouth and it should lead to the opening animation the opening animation should let's add a trigger sh okay the opening animation on end since we play all the animation should jump to the open idle so it's open and it's stationary but let's fix this let's fix this so it should start at 800 and should should be still and then from here um, <clears throat> when we trigger with the mouth open again we should go to the next state uh, which is closing animation all right the closing animation should start at 800 and go to the end uh, let's have the trigger and on hand once the animation is completely played we should go back to close idle and we have the the loop so I think this should be it let's update the model close this okay cool so as you see the animation is working properly we just need to fix this white part so the dense mesh is not is not right i need to go here i need to call the since this is a morphing mesh we need to call this we need to set the morph space to morph enable alpha and in the shaders we can use a special shader for this kind of mesh we just call the we just go ahead and apply the camera yeah so now Let's say that once I open it or once I close, I want to make sure that accidentally I don't I don't trigger it again. 
so once I open it, let's say I want to have five seconds where I cannot trigger it. And so let's go to the animation state editor again and let's add a state that I'm going to call uh, pause and it's going to have a 5000 millisecond duration so it's a 5 second duration animation we don't select the take one it's it's still not selected because it's going to be only a, a, a new node it's going to be a pause to the animation so from once i open since the we play the the opening animation you should jump to pause okay so instead of going instead of going to open idle we're going to pause and from pause okay, let's add on end since the five seconds are gone we can go back to the open idle okay and then from the open idle I can go to the closing animation okay and now I can add a second pause Pause two, not selected, five seconds. And from here, if I open my mouth, it's going for closing animation. From closing animation, instead of going directly to the idle, I go to the pause two. And from pause two, on end, I'm going to close idle. Let's see if this works. It opens. And now it's waiting five seconds. Okay. And now it's working. It's working again. Now I'm opening my opening my mouth. And it doesn't do anything. So finally, we just want to export our model. Let's call this Iron Man. So now we have a, a deeper studio model ready to, to load with everything. Let's try it out. Uh, let's move this here. So let's close our deeper studio. Let's go to here. And now if I open it, it's already ready to go. Let's say that you want to make some, some changes in Maya, you want to change your FBX file, you can do that, and then you, you import your FBX, you make sure you want to load the textures that you need, and instead of going to the process of, of setting the shaders again, you can go to to import materials, and you, you, you select this studio model, it also ser uh, serves as a, as a reference for the shading that you did, and, and it will restore everything. Other than this, we would, if if you want to, to improve on this mask, we would take care of this edge line. It's hard lines on the on the inside of the mesh. It's something easy to fix. Um, so yes, I hope that you enjoyed these tutorials and um, and I hope that you do uh, awesome content with it. Bye bye. See you.